It still hasn't really sunk in yet, although it's been uh, a month or two uh, since the win. I know it sounds a bit samey, but it is honestly, to, to win the Blanc Pan series is a dream come true for me. There was huge emotion behind the visor there. You would have uh, you would have been seeing some tears if the visor was open for sure. And um, I made one mistake. I held him off for as long as I could. And before going into the race, I thought, I, I, I thought we had to beat the Bentley, but Bob was on the radio to me saying, you can let the Bentley go, you can let the Bentley go. We're still going to be okay for the championship but I, I still didn't want to give that position up you know as a driver you, you don't want to give any sort of position up to cross that line um, in third place in the race to win the championship by such a small margin that made it even more special and I, I have to say the battle with Stephen Kane we had with uh, car seven in the Bentley um, yeah that, that was just a stunning stunning battle and it was probably the hardest hour stint of my life obviously um, I've been around for quite a few years now and I, I think I, I hope my experience um, you know the new guys can learn a bit off of me and my my career has grown the same as RJN's with the GT Academy with Nissan and it's been building every year and it's and it's just been great to now come to 2015 our first year in the Pro Cup in GT3 um, to, to win the championship is just a real a real honour and uh, yeah it still hasn't sunk in yet. We're up in London uh, just next to the um, Olympic Stadium for BT Sport doing a motorsport uh, weekender show. Basically lo lots of um, riders and drivers here. Um, yeah, mostly champions I believe. So um, yeah, great just to talk, talk a little bit about our season and uh, get a bit of insight as to, to how our year's gone. So here we are, the BT Studios, just here behind me. I'll be going in um, very shortly for my interview and a uh, pretty impressive place, I have to say. Splodging down that works really well because you, you, get a, you get a snap of their faces and, and then we come back to you as the master shop. And I really like it because the girls are stuck here. Stand by Abbe. Stand by Abbe. Well, joining us now to mop up the talking points from the Blanc Pan season is Nissan GT Works driver Alex Buncombe. Alex, it's wonderful to have you here today, first of all. What a season. I mean, apart from the Spa 24 hours, which you probably want to erase from your memory with a bit of a difficult weekend, you've had a dream season. Yeah, for sure. It's been a, a great, great season for us and the team. Um, you know, we couldn't have hoped for, obviously, a, a better result to be, you know, the Blanc Pan champion is, is mega. And, uh, you know, the first couple of races of the year, we, uh, we struggled a bit. We knew we had a fast car underneath us, um, but we just were a little unlucky in a few areas and uh, didn't get the results. And then came to Paul Ricard and uh, yeah, we just had an absolute blinder and young Chio did a fantastic stint. I think it was the stint of uh, his, his his life. And um, yeah, we brought the car home first. Um, it was a thousand K race, so uh, six hours long. And then yeah, obviously Spa didn't, didn't go to plan. And then... I think it's probably one of the first times that somebody, you've won the championship without winning in Spa. Historically, you're, you're top three in Spa if you're gonna win the champion. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Spa is the, the main race of the year. The most points is at Spa because you get points at six hours, then 12 hours, and obviously, you know, at the flag at 24. And, you know, you, you, if you've got a good car, you know, you really can make the most of that of that race and really get some good points for the series. But I, I, I think we came, came home in P8 in, in Pro, which, which was an OK result. Um, unfortunately, we lost a, an hour in the box um, in the middle of the night with, with some car damage and um, we got it back out there and uh, yeah, we came home P8. So, Fantastic uh, result. And you were the, you. the more senior of the, the drivers in your team, in your lineup. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, you know, I'm sort of, sort of known as the old stager a little bit and uh, helped the academy guys, you know, along the way. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't have hoped, hoped to have better teammates, you know, this year with uh, Gio Sun and uh, Wolfgang Reap, who, who, won, who won the academy in 2012. You know, it's been a great journey for him, you know, to win the Pro Cup his first year in pro, you know, to be, a, you know, a champion, to come from, from the sofa on the PlayStation. That's amazing. To, to, I mean, I, I applaud Nissan so much for doing... I mean, I, I know Ollie agrees entirely. I applaud mm. that for so much for what they're trying to do there. You know you're getting old when they start sticking veteran next to your name every time they <laughs> have yeah. I don't think you quite got there yet. But, uh, <laughs> can't take the fighting spirit away from no, you boys, can we? definitely not. None definitely of you. Not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been wonderful to have you here with us today in the studio.